Good morning, Sakonic. We have another great show for you all today, so let's get right into it. Today is Friday, January 19th. I hope everyone's excited for the snow, but I know I'm not. Today we have news from the Berkshire Eagle, sports news, next week's lunch, as well as an interview from the Taconic student body about their favorite winter activities. But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We're coming up to the end of the second quarter with grades closing at the end of the next week, so let, this would be the last gold week of the semester. The Taconic Open House is on January 31st. The whole school will we be open to the public from 5 to 8 p.m. Come by and see what we can do here at Taconic. With many students getting their licenses recently, make sure that you register your car and get a parking pass in the main office. In partnership with the Berkshire Eagle, Brendan has a few stories from the past week. Thanks guys, let's get right into it. James Taylor is coming back to Tanglewood this summer on July 3rd and 4th for the 50th anniversary of his Tanglewood debut. Taylor is performing with the Boston Symphony Orchestra with tickets on sale now if you're interested. Seven days into Peter Marchetti's first term, he's received a mandate from the city council for, quote, a level funded budget or close to one, said at-large councillor Kathy Amuso. It is yet to be determined whether or not this budget will come to fruition due to having to make around $8 million in cuts. Several lawmakers are trying to build protections against banning books in public libraries and schools into Massachusetts state law. Book banning has been on the rise since 2020. Books are typically banned if they have to do with racism, sexual content, and the LGBTQ plus community. This bill would hope to stop books from being banned for, quote, personal or political views. The Stanley Cup's roots can be traced back to Berkshire County. William Stanley of Great Barrington invented the cup while working on a project for General Electric because he needed his coffee to stay hot while he was on the job. Since then, Stanley Cups have been keeping drinks warm for over a century since their invention in 1913. For more information from outside Taconic, please go to BerkshireEagle.com. Now, back to the studio. <laughs> Thanks, Brennan. There are a lot of delicious meals scheduled for next week, so let's go to Juliana to check some of them out. Hey guys, today we're looking at next week's lunch menu provided by our wonderful lunch lady, so let's get right into it. To start off, Monday we are having either chicken bacon ranch flatbread or pizza with a side of chickpea salad. Tuesday we are having mac and cheese with a dinner roll, buffalo cauliflower, and Wednesday we are having roasted turkey with cornbread, mashed potatoes, and a roasted carrot stick. Thursday we are having ham and cheese croissant with french fries and Friday we are having my favorite tangerine chicken with Asian style green beans and fried rice. Thanks for tuning in, now let's head back to the studio. Thanks Juliana, now let's go to Andrew with your sports news. Hey guys, Andrew here to bring you with next week's sports schedule for Taconic. Let's get into it. Today we have varsity and JV bowling versus Lee and Mount Everett at k and for 4pm. Varsity girls basketball versus Lebanon at Taconic for 6pm. JV basketball versus Wakona at 5.30 and varsity basketball versus Wakona at 7. And Saturday there will be varsity wrestling at Monument at 9 a.m. Sunday, JV hockey will face East Hampton at Boys and Girls Club at 5. Monday, varsity swimming will be at Mount Anthony for 4.30. Varsity girls basketball versus Hampshire at Regional High at the Conic for 7 p.m. Tuesday, JV boys basketball versus West Springfield for 5.30 and varsity boys basketball versus West Springfield at West Springfield for 7 p.m. That's all for Taconic Sports. Back to the studio. Next up, we took a look at the school's favorite snow day activities, but first, these messages. Do you have a busted Chromebook? To get a new Chromebook, you must fill out the request form. To find the form, see the link below or it's available in Dr. Bishop's newsletter. You'll then be put on a wait list. Once your new Chromebook is ready to be picked up, you should get a call from a member of the IT team. When picking up your new Chromebook at Mercer, please bring your old Chromebook along with its case and charger. 
That's all. Now back to the studio. Hey there, Taconic. Have you ever wanted to watch Taconic TV but haven't had the time? Well, do I have news for you. Our podcast, Up on Taconic, is streaming now. This podcast offers a great new perspective on our show with a more in-depth look at some segments from the main show and exclusive things only seen on the podcast. Now, I know you may be thinking, how might I watch such an amazing podcast? Well, you can stream it on sites like Spotify or CastBox, or you can listen to it live on WTBR, which is at 89.7 FM. So get ready to learn, laugh, listen, and enjoy to an all-new audio experience. And as always, back back to to the the studio. Earlier this week, I had the opportunity to ask several students about their favorite winter activities, so let's go right into that. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be interviewing some of my peers, asking them what their favorite snow day and or winter activity may be. Let's get right into it. What's your favorite snow day activity? To ski at Boston. I like to spend my snow days sledding, perhaps at Clack Park, Reed Middle School. What's your favorite winter activity? I like uh, sitting by the fire, reading some literature. Uh, right now I'm reading uh, How to Kill a Mockingbird. Uh, yeah, I really enjoy books. I'm going to have to say probably like baseball training, lifting, stuff like that. Probably sledding. Interesting. You like hitting the slopes at Reed, Clap, where at? I like Clap Park. That was everyone's favorite winter and or snow day activity. Thank you for everyone who donated their time. Back to the studio. Thanks, guys. Well, that's all we have for you today. As always, if you have any news you'd like us to report, please email us at TaconicTV at Pittsfield.net. Remember to take responsibility, have respect, and strive for excellence. Have, have a, a great, great day, day Taconic. Taconic.